Hello, I've got for you today the 2023 Writer's Edition released by Mont Blanc in August. This is uh, a pen dedicated to Robert Louis Stevenson, the Scottish, 19th century Scottish author, best known for Treasure Island and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Uh, so this is the 1884, I think, 1883 limited edition version, and as usual, these limited edition versions come in a simulated book packaging with a mock, uh, mock leather-bound book, and then a little accompanying document that usually relates to the author. What is it this year? A letter written to a friend. That's usually the case. Postcard, something like that. A little element of the author's life. It's Nice little touch, usually. Uh, little extra something. And then the main pen is oops, in this, this box. So I think uh, like last year, we've got a uh, matte finish pen booklet with a standard explanations and I think this year oh that's neat uh, unlike the special edition where they made 10,000 of them the booklet there for the 10,000 edition is in English French Spanish Chinese and another language a few different languages whereas this limited edition only comes in English and Chinese so that's something I hadn't noticed before so this pen is unique amongst Mont Blanc's pens uh, because there is a mechanical element in it so it definitely deserves to be opened uh, so let's let's have a look at that quite excited to see how that operates nice little relief of his signature there on the protective sheath and then there we go the pen itself So let's see if I can get this opened. So on the special edition version of this pen, the wrapping comes with an inscription on it, and I haven't done that in many years. I was hoping to see it on, on this thicker plastic as well, because it's sort of a nice, nice touch. You know you're getting something more original when you've got it wrapped in something that is branded more blah than just a paper or plastic sheath. So there you go. Let's see if we get that all nicely in focus. Uh, the clip is a belaying pin. Uh, nice little functionality there. Under the clip we've got the compass rows. Of course with all points on the map. There's the limited edition number and the Mont Blanc. Pretty sure this is meant to resemble paneling, wood paneling on a ship. And then the cone, or sorry, the, the band has his signature, a nice, nice signature, simple enough. Uh, and then the finial is mother of pearl in that coral, coral surround that Mont Blanc's fond of using sometimes. So that's the cap and now the pen itself Let's start with the nib. So the nib here is 18 karat gold, and then uh, on the on the inscription there, T U S I T A L A. That's the I think the place where he passed in Samoa. Uh, so while he was, of course, Scottish, he traveled quite a lot. As you can imagine, someone who likes nautical stuff uh, might do back then. And then beautiful clouds. Pretty sure. Clouds and shooting stars here around the, the lettering. So there is a little protective sheeting there. And then relatively coarse thread. And the body, well, I should say, let's start before with uh, the entire pen itself. is designed to be, I guess, a spyglass uh, telescope. One of those things you see pirates and people on old ships be fond of using. 
spyglass or telescope, I can't think, spyglass. Uh, there you go. Of course, there's the eyepiece, the cone is the eyepiece, and then that would be the oculus. Uh, so not, not too bad of a silhouette, I think, for a pen. And then, oops, forgot this detail. Though they do pull mostly on Treasure Island, this inscription along the finial band here, what is it? Uh, under the wide and starry sky is a reference to Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde as it would be seen in a mirror. Of course, that's why the backwards writing is, uh, is used. So it'd be like looking in a mirror. Imagine there's a scene in the book that explains that, but I've not read it. Uh, so main thing, main reason this pen is interesting is that there is a functionality where you rotate this little piece and it goes from an English flag, the Hispaniola, uh, the main ship in uh, Treasure Island, to the pirate flag. A neat, neat little addition. I like that element. It feels very smooth. Uh, it doesn't feel like it's laborious to move. It clicks nicely in its resting positions. So yeah, that, that's something that's going to be played with a lot, I think. Now, that being said, I think the transition here between the red and the black could have been a bit more gradual, a bit of a graded transition would have been a bit nicer. And I really want to have a closer look at this. The printing is pretty good on the skull and crossbones. I saw one example in the store that felt almost like you could see the dot matrix of the printer. You see sort of all those little little dots. But here, I don't know, it doesn't really show. It seems smooth enough. So I think in, in most use, you're not going to be bothered by that. But I was worried the, the skull and crossbones, crossbones would be too pixelated, but I don't see that. So there, very interesting, uh, very interesting feature in the pen. Of course, that it is a piston filler, and that mechanism does take up space. As you can see, the, the outer sheath is not thin. It's pretty thick, so it's quite robust. Uh, and then that internal mechanism takes up space, and then the internal piston takes up space. So I'm curious to know how much ink uh, this would hold. And actually, maybe I'll do something about that, test that out. So apart from the section, there's no other plastics, uh, plastic protective sheathing. Uh, but I do love that beautiful mirror gold finish. Works quite well with something that is referencing this type of this type of property. So, yeah, there you go. We've got the Hispaniola's last two masts. Should know the terms for that, but don't. Uh, and pretty good details. I think this work, this work here is quite well executed. You feel the raised gold sections. And that's, that's quite a nice texture. Not a cheap pen, but uh, quite a nice execution, I think. Most likely going to stay like that with uh, the skull and crossbones. Kids will love it, though. I'm going to play with that quite a lot. So there you have it. The 2023 Writer's Edition, dedicated to Robert Louis Stevenson. Uh, heavily, heavily inspired by Treasure Island. Let me know if you've got questions or comments, and I guess we'll see you probably next year. That's the end of 2022, 2023's offerings.